Hi, welcome everybody. Welcome to the q and recording of the film Nayola, playing as part of the 12th European Union Human Rights Film Day. Uh, I'm here with uh, Jose Miguel Ribeiro today. Hi, Jose, how are you? I'm fine. Oh, hello. Nice to invite me. Thank you for the invitation. And thank you for being here with us today. Uh, I just want to give a little information about you beforehand. Uh, Jose Miguel Ribeiro was born in 1966 in Amadora, Portugal. He gra graduated in visual arts at Fine Arts School in Lisbon and studied drawing and puppets animation at Lazanec, Bratechren, and Filmeografo, Oporto. Uh, for several years, he taught puppets animation of Klaus Gubakan Foundation in Lisbon. Uh, he was animator of all Os Saldadores, directed by Abi Feja, among other films. Probably I uh, pronounce so many things wrong in the wrong way, but I guess... No, it's okay. I, it's I guess most people <laughs> can <laughs> understand it. So okay. do, you, do you want to add anything else uh, to this information? No, I think it's perfect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I want to start by asking you about uh, Nayola. How was it inspired, Jose? And how did you decide to... Uh, do this uh, film as an animation. Can you give a little information about that? Okay. So first of all, uh, I have to say that uh, the 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 war theme theme it's it's for me always in in Bernia. So my previous film it was a short film. Uh, in the name it was Stilasus, and it's a story about uh, a veteran of war. Uh, that come back from the war to the family, and then uh, the effect of the war in in him and in in his family. So that story was inspired in my personal story with my father, because mm -hmm. my father uh, was part of the army that uh, uh, fought uh, that fought yeah in the Guinea um, Bissau. That was an old colony from Portugal, like Angola, like Mozambique. Uh, so Portugal has some colonies in Africa, mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, and uh, and uh, when we were in the fascist regime, uh, the last years the started some of the wars in Africa, and uh, all the Portuguese were. Uh, uh, young Portuguese were obliged to go to that one. So mm -hmm. I I had that personal experience. So I know how how the war it's um, inside of the human body and how that affects the future of that person that live it. So this is a theme, a central theme in my life, and the, and this film uh, give me the opportunity to see the war from the angle and perspective. Oh. Because uh, I have the Portuguese perspective of colonial war uh, that we call it colonial war because it's connected with colony old colonies, but in in Africa all, all of that countries call it a war of freedom. Oh. So it's a war for free the the country from that uh, presence colonial presence, uh, and of course is more correct than uh, our 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 point our perspective. So. That was the theme. Uh, then I discover uh, with the and these two writers wrote a theater play named it Caixa Preta, and we worked in that uh, based on that uh, theater play. So it's a story about. Uh, <coughs> Uh, a mask intruder that can inside of the house where lives uh, the, do the the daughter. That theater play was the base of the story. That uh, is a play uh, made by two African authors, a Mozambican and an Angolan, uh, Mia Kowoto and Eduardo Agolusa. And that was the the beginning of the, the, the film. And in fact, yeah. what for me it was interesting in this story, it's... Uh, to see the war from the perspective of three generation of three generation of women, uh, and see also from the, the perspective of the Angolan Angolan perspective and not uh, not the Portuguese perspective. So for me, it was a, a challenge to put me in other place uh, place of the women and the place of the uh, uh, the Angolans. And uh, of course, I worked with. The, Angolan actors and a lot of uh, information came coming from Angola, from Africa, 
uh, but uh, it was a challenge because I had to make a big research. So the first four years of this film was a research uh, years uh, when I historical read, research, uh, right? Historical, yeah, you historical to do, research, yeah. uh, like contemporary also research, like what is happening now in Angola, how the importance uh, yeah. of the rap movements in the in the, the the fight for for justice, for freedom. Uh, all of this was was part of a, of a, a learning process that was very important for for yeah, this I, film. I guess it was both a very uh, in a way you learned both historically but also individually, right? I mean, you were telling people stories, so it is so precious in a way that yes, you you were experienced, of course. I mean, you had maybe similar uh, history, like you said, because of your father. That that probably helped helped a lot to bring the uh, okay. character's point of view to the film. Uh, so at the same time, historically, you searched a lot. So uh, it. It was yeah. a long process, right? You said uh, four years. How? How? What is the total preparation and process uh, of the movie? Uh, the movie. Yeah, including the uh, shooting uh, time. The okay. total time. It was yeah. uh, almost nine years of work. Wow. Yeah. So the first four Incredible. years were uh, a lot of research, also uh, financing uh, the film because we have four countries that. Uh, help us to make the film. So it was Portugal, Belgium, France, and Holland. And yeah. uh, without them, it was, in, it was impossible to do the film because it's, uh, it's like uh, three, um, uh, two, million, two millions and uh, 200, uh, I think. No, no, it's more, three, three millions and, uh, and 200. Yeah, the, the oh, final amazing. budget of the film. It's, so... It's... It, um, it, I was gonna say it's a great film that uh, may talks actually about memory, history, and yeah. family relationships. I guess, and uh, I wanted to know that yes, you were inspired from your uh, uh, your maybe own life, but also how uh, the, these characters were fiction at the same time, right? I mean, do, were they based on anybody? or they were just fiction uh, and can you also explain a little bit about the story for the ones who didn't still watch the film didn't so, it. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so this is a, a story in fact the story has two timelines two parallel timelines the present and the past <clears throat> And what we see in the past is a woman named Nayola that is uh, traveling inside of um, of the Angola, that is a big, big, huge country, and she is searching for the husband. And in the present, we see the grandmother and the the the, uh, the, the daughter of Nayola, yeah, in fact, yeah. the granddaughter. Uh, yeah. um, we see them uh, in one day in the house. And uh, there is a mask intruder that gets inside of the house with a mask of Jekyll. So we don't know what is on the other side of the of the mask. And uh, with the, the evolution of the story, we start to understand that this character maybe is not someone so far from that family. And uh, so there is a tension that is installed. And at the end, we have that point of view of these three women about the war, but also yeah. a connection with the country, with the the, the, the original languages like Kimbundu or Umbundu and not only the Portuguese, because the Portuguese is, is the official language at this point. Mm -hmm. But uh, I also wanted to bring uh, the ancestral uh, mention of this country, also the the, um, the people San, that is a uh, before it was a tribe uh, named Bus Buskimen, but now they call it uh, Povsan because it's a huge uh, uh, people that uh, live in that way, uh, near to the desert, near to the nature. The film ends with them. Um, so this was uh, part of the creation and also the contrast because I wanted to take people to war, but the film is not only about war. It's about yeah, exactly. family, it's yeah. about love, it's about uh, how we can uh, superate ourselves and uh, continue, continue to fight for things that we believe, uh, but uh, 
how we can also to get other ways of fighting because fighting with guns sometimes it's the only solution but it's not the best because it it leaves a lot of suffering in in, in people so the, there are other possibilities of fighting and Yara represents that new, new generation of rap singers that continue to believe that they can build a new country but uh, they don't want to take guns they want to to do it with their their music their, their voices and uh, and that that's the change of generational change also that is important to 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 increase the increase to improve the the democracy of of, of a country yeah yeah, and also while well, you were explaining, I just remembered something in the movie. The uh, granddaughter asked the grandmother that why did he, why did you let my father go to war? Why did you let him go? And uh, she answers that you cannot uh, keep a falcon. I mean, you have to just uh, set it free and uh, uh, and help him to go after what he wants. So I think that that was a really precious yeah, line in the yeah. film. And like you said, this is a story of people, a generation who doesn't want to give up and who, who goes after their beliefs for their country, who got yeah. goes to fighting um, yeah. in, in every way. So I think th that that's a really precious story. And like you said, it's not, not just a war story. It's a family history, memory, identity. A lot. There are lots of themes in this film that I really connected yeah. with. Yeah. And I, I was I just wanted to ask you why why did you decide to do, film it as an animation? What was your like in, mm -hmm. initial reason? Uh, by the way, it was beautiful. I uh -huh. think in a way it was a lot more effective just because it was animation. By the way, so <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, uh, I'm an animator, and uh, I never made a live action film. Well, I made some experience when I was in the beginning of studies, but not a lot. So. I feel more comfortable with animation, uh, but animation, it's not one only technique because uh, you can do animation with sand, you can do animation with painting, you can do yeah. animation with drawings, with uh, 3D, with puppets. So there is a lot of possibilities in animation. And what I try also to build in this, uh, in this film, it show all that richness of uh, um. this medium and as you maybe i don't know if you notice but there is the past is all made in drawing animation uh, yeah and the present is doing with the 3d animation why i made this distinction because i think for the viewer is important to know where he is if he's in the past or in the present because uh -huh. at the beginning of the film we show that but then uh, it becomes to we give jumps from yeah. past to present and it's important people know where they are and I think that three D belongs belongs to our time, and the drawing animation belongs to uh, previous time. That's why you symbolize it that way, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, Sorry, and because, I, I distracted. Huh? Yeah, because uh, the drawing animation is a more powerful technique for uh, metamorphosis and the freedom of of, of, yeah. of drawing. <clears throat> the other is more controlled, but in another way. Uh, the 3D allowed us to do micro movements, very easy to oh. do with micro movements. So for the expressions where they are in the house, uh, talking one with the other, there is a lot of things happening in the face of the characters, small, very small things, but uh, uh, they're very important to create the tension. And uh, it is more easy to control them if we work in 3D than if we work oh. in 2D. I didn't know so, that. That's a great formation for <laughs> me as well. <laughs> that was so uh, one of the reasons I, I use that too. And then there is the dream that is painting animation and was inspired in the work of a Portuguese illustrator that named it Susa Monteiro. Mm. And uh, we invited her to do all the graphic style for this moment. And then we, we made the, the animation based on their drawings, their illustration. Yeah, I think it, it's a, it's also a great piece of art, this film, uh, just because of the way that it was directed, I guess. And uh, when you're when you're dealing with all this stuff, I, I just wanted to know what are the challenges, because you're also doing, in a way, a political film, about, mm -hmm. and also an art, in a way, it's an art film. So uh, what kind of challenges you encountered? I was curious about that. And also maybe you have some magical memories that uh, just you encounter encountered while doing this movie so if uh, you have any of any of them in your mind right now can you share with us yeah well i think <clears throat> i i can tell you that there are some key moments in the film 
One of the moments is the recording of voices in Angola because I went to Luanda, that is the capital of Angola, yeah. to make the voices. Wow. And that was a turning point for the film because I have an animatic already that is like a storyboard with timing. Mm -hmm. And I have already an idea for the story. I have already visually all made the script right, has already done the script. So, okay, I knew that this is the story I want to tell. And then when I arrived to Angola and Luanda, and I started to work with the actors, and some of the actors are not professional, uh, like mm -hmm. Yara. Yara is a rapper, is not a, a, an actress. So for her, it was the first time she made the voice for a film. So she, but she is very spontaneous. Is a very creative person. Uh, um, Nayal, the voice of Nayal, also the same. Is not a, a professional actor. Is, she made spoken word, but it's not someone that comes from theater. So it was also first experience of cinema. Just a grandmother is a professional actress. Um, so from these three women, two of them, it was the first experience. So I was quite. Uh, trying also to know them, trying to bring also part of their lives to the film, because uh, I realized that all of the people in Angola have some, someone in the family, in, in some cases themselves, they were still fighting in the civil war, because civil wars finished in uh, 2002, so it's not a long time ago. Yeah. So um, what I tried to do is open the film to them and say to them, hey, look, who are you? Who is your story, personal story? Uh, and also, I said to that to them, uh, which my personal story. I told them about my experience of war, made it by the connection with my father and my family. So we were a very open uh, rehearsals that uh, create a connection between us and help me to discover who they are and how they could bring their lives to the film. So there is a lot of stories in the film that was not written by the authors of the theater play and by the the, the script writer. In fact, they were that stories were bring by the actors and these persons. Amazing. And I give you an example: uh, the the poem that Nayal say when she's in the tree with the shooter and she she declaim a poem. This poem it's not. Uh, from the scriptwriter oh. or the theater play, it's from uh, Elise Angela, that is the, the 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 woman that made the voice for. Her. So she made the, some poems. I read them, some of them, and I invited her to, hey, uh, Elise Angela, why not bring to this moment something that is part of you? It's part of your of your life. You do poems, so bring them. Uh, what do you think? And she said, okay, let's try to do it. And then uh, right. when she brought. Uh, she broke that poem that is uh, his her own poem and then I said to her I, I proposed her why not saying it in Kimbundu and she said to me wow Kimbundu it's a it's a very uh, tak, tak, it's very mm -hmm. uh, strong uh, la um, uh, language it's very beautiful but for a poem that is quite emotional and uh, love poem I don't know if I can make it sound uh, uh, you know uh, uh, I give them, them the, that that kind of music quality, and I say, okay, let's try to do it. And she she working in that, and then she told it in Kimbun, and it was so beautiful the language she achieved the uh, kind of emotional moment. So this is just one example to give yeah. you, but there is a lot of them in the film. And uh, when I finalize the work with them, and I came back to Portugal. I really redo all the animatic based on their voices. Oh. So it was a very important moment. And, the, and the, the, the characters you see in the film, some of them are very close to the, uh, to the persons that gave the voice, like oh. Yara or like Elisangela Nayala. So it's quite, a, they, it's like the true coming to the film. Uh, and I wanted that. I needed that because uh, uh, I'm a Portuguese. I'm not Angolan, and uh, I I know my limitations. And I I knew I wanted to. I needed to open the film so the film could be an Angolan film and not a Portuguese film. And that was the challenge and one of the the things I realized in the middle when I was doing mm. because at the beginning I don't realize that, but then I, I started to think about um, well what. How can a Portuguese make a film of an Angolan perspective of three women 
uh, so I realized, okay, I have to open my film. I cannot yeah. close it because it's yeah, not it's a personal right. story uh, like uh, the previous short film I made. So this process of opening, it was also a learning process for me and it, it was a very creative uh, film for, for me. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds beautiful, by the way. I mean, it's obvious that you worked side by side with all these people. So they're, the characters are not a actually all fiction. They're all, in a way, blended with all the people you met and worked with and like they're inspired uh, from these real characters it sounds like that so i think yeah, it's that's, uh... it's more real and it's great um and uh, i loved uh, the way you uh, go through your journey actually so thank you for sharing this with us so Hazza, thank you so much for sharing your experiences and your film with us. And I hope uh, it's all already reached to many, many people all around the world. And I hope through our festival, mm. it, it can reach to our, our audience too. So thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you for your invitation. And I hope you will enjoy the film. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>